presenting a tiny Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low. <laughs> Thank you. With the olives, courtesy of my very lucky girlfriend, who for the first time ever is here, live in studio. Do you want to say hello to the YouTube world? Hello. <laughs> The other day, I did upload a video of my girlfriend going into Selfridges here in London to collect her raffle win of the sneakers from Offspring. So if you have a spare two minutes to watch that video, I'll pop something up in one of the corners of the screen for everyone at home to click on. And I'll also put a link at the top of the description for everyone as well. I'll pass these to you. Thank you, madam. And then we're gonna put this tiny little box, it's so cute, up there. Very nice. Then we're going to replace these for the video. Oh, it's so tiny! <laughs> okay, if you had to describe your morning for the collection of the olives in just three words, what would they be? Stressful, exciting, but very happy. <laughs> it is nerve-wracking for sure to collect a sneaker of such a magnitude for their retail price of £145, knowing just how limited they are and the insane value that they hold straight away. We both never thought in a million years we would win a pair of Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Lows, ever. But to win our pairs both from Offspring and then to collect them in person made it that much more believable and special, to be quite honest. And I still can't believe that we now have a matching his and her pair of Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Lows. The reverse mochas for myself from last year and of course my girlfriend's olive pair from this year. Which I do have to say is a very nice quality pair of sneakers. I love the switch up to the smiley face embroidery on the back heel. And you know how much we both love shades of green too. So the olive nubuck reverse swoosh is chef's kiss. So I'm sure everyone at home has won a raffle on a pair of sneakers that they simply cannot believe that they've won for a pretty long time after. So I have to ask, have you finally come to terms with the fact that you won these? Not really. Uh, it still feels like a dream that I'm in, to be honest. And I know we already talked about it, but I still can't believe that you won these. I was probably more happy than you. Yeah. Oh, and a reminder, or more so a PSA. I'll be making a comparison video of the reverse mochas and the olives. So if you're interested in that, keep an eye out. What a crazy full circle moment for my girlfriend and I with our sneaker collections. I'm definitely one day going to be making an entire sneaker collection video on her collection, as well as showcasing our match in his and her pairs, of course. Okay, final question. Would you say that these are your favourite sneaker in your collection right now? That's a hard question to answer, but they are among one of my top three. Oh, pray tell. There's my... Okay, you're going to have to do that one more time because I was like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, shake it off. Well, what would be your answer to that final question? <laughs> Are these your favourite sneaker in your collection right now? <laughs> There's my Paisley's, my Chicago's and my Seafoam Jordan 1's. That makes sense, I'll give you that one. That's understandable. But these are definitely one of your favourites, right? Surely. I do love them. Okay, I, I thought so. <laughs> Sharing a hobby, especially one of collecting something, really does make it that much more enjoyable on every sneaker that we decide that we like and we want to go for. And ultimately, it's led to myself building two sneaker collections. One in my UK 11 size for myself and one in a UK five and a half for my girlfriend. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Always include your loved ones. Woo. <laughs> That's brilliant. You said real sweat? It's real sweat. I'm a high performance athlete. Athletes sweat. Sweat, baby. Sweat, sweat.